The federal government has agreed to offset the 25 billion naira owed companies who had supplied gas to the privatized independent power plants. The funds will be provided by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Deziani Alison Madweke, at a press briefing in Abuja, explained that the payment of the debt is one of the measures taken to improve electricity generation in the country. Also present at the briefing were the Minister of Power, Professor Chinedu Nebo, and the CBN Governor, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, as part of the interagency collaboration to remove all bottlenecks in realizing the power sector reforms. Collectively, we have developed additional interventions that will address outstanding issues around gas pricing, fast-tracking additional gas supply development, particularly in the short term. It is expected that barring unforeseen developments, these interventions will add at least 370 million scuffs per day of gas and will assure a generation capacity of at least 5,000 megawatts within the next four to five months. In order to minimize disruptions to supply, NNPC has also concluded a harmonization plan of the maintenance schedule of all gas plants from various suppliers. Therefore, between August and September, all planned maintenance activities will be carried out. Whilst this will create a temporary disruption in our supply to power, it will ensure that from October this year, disruptions due to planned maintenance activities will be extremely minimal. And this will enable steady supply of power uh, to Nigerians thereafter. Nigeria has huge solar potentials, so huge that it dwarfs every kind of power generation from other sources. This has not been tapped. Mr. President flagged off on the 28th of May to 2013 the Zungeru hydropower plant that will give an additional 700 megawatts of power. And before Independence uh, Day celebration for 2014, it is conceived that Mr. President will also flag off the 3,050 megawatts Mambila hydropower project. The process of the engagement uh, revealed that yes, there is an outstanding legacy debt of about 25 billion naira. And we thought that um, as financial catalyst in this process that what we should do is to um, give support by ensuring um, that uh, the existing gas suppliers um, are given some confidence to ensure by ensuring that the existing debts are paid off.